Hello my dear friends, today I welcome you all to our channel that is Best Notes Tutorials and here we are going to do MCQs on Thomas Hardy and it is day 17th. I have made earlier MCQs on different writers. If you wish, you can go through it and prepare well for the upcoming examinations. And uh, apart from this, let me tell you that uh, we have made writers, all the writers PDF. So if you require that, you can ask us and uh, we will provide the same. Okay, let's begin with question number one. Question number one. Question number one, what is the name of the semi-fictional area in which most of Thomas Hardy's novels are set? Option A, Wessex. Option B, Dorchester. Option C, Sussex. Option D, Stonehenge. So here it is option A, which is correct, that is Wessex. Let's see the highlighters. Thomas Hardy's novels are set in this fictional country of Wexex, which was his collective name for the countries of southwestern England. Hardy knew this part of the country well as he himself grew up in the country of Dorset. A few of real life countries in Hardy's vexes are Devon, Dorset, and Hampshire. Vexes was an older term for this area which Hardy repopularized. Question number two What year was Thomas Hardy born? Option A 1845, Option B 1840, Option C 1640, and Option D. 1832 so here your answer is 1840 was the year when Thomas Hardy was born highlighter says Thomas Hardy was an English novelist and poet Thomas Hardy was born on June 2nd 1840 in higher Bockhampton his father was a stone mansion and his mother was quite educated Question number three, what is the title of Thomas Hardy's first unpublished novel? Option A, Far From the Madding Crowd. Option B, Under the Greenwood Tree. Option C, Desperate Remedies. And Option D, The Poor Man and the Lady. So here, his first unpublished novel is The Poor Man and the Lady. The Poor Man and the Landlady. The Lady was first novel by Thomas Hardy, The Poor Man and the Lady was written in 1867 but it was never published and the manuscript was lost. Question number 4. What is the title of Thomas Hardy's first published novel? Option A. Far from the Madding Crowd. Option B. Under the Greenwood Tree. Option C, Desperate Remedies. Option D, The Poor Man and the Lady. So here, Option C is correct, that is Desperate Remedies. Let's see the highlighter highlighters. Desperate Remedies is the second novel by Thomas Hardy, albeit the first to be published. It was Hardy, it was Hardy, Hardy's first published novel. It was released anonymously by Tinsley Brothers in 1871. Question number 5. What is the name of Thomas Hardy's home in Dorchester? Option A. Bathsheba. Option B. Bokhampton. Option C. Maxgate. And Option D. Edgon Heath. Here, correct answer is option C. That is Maxgate is the name of Thomas Hardy's home in Dorchester. The Dorset house designed by the author Thomas Hardy 
located on the outskirts of Dorchester in the somewhat austere house that the famous British author and the poet Thomas Hardy designed for himself and his wife. Maxgate is owned by the National Trust, a conservation organization in England, Wales and North Ireland. The house was of Hardy's own design and he lived in it for over 40 years. Question number six. What honor was bestowed upon Thomas Hardy in 1910? Option A, Knightwood. Option B, Peerage. Option C, Order of Honor. And Option D, Order of Merit. So here, the honor that was bestowed upon Thomas Hardy in 1910 was Order of Merit. Let's see the highlighters. In 1910, Hardy had been appointed a member of the Order of Merit. The Order of Merit was established by Edward Seventh in 1902. Question number seven. What is the name of the epic drama that Hardy wrote about the war with Napoleon? Option A, the war, war and peace. Option B, the Napoleonic Wars. Option C, the dynasts. And option D, Napoleon's last stand. So here correct answer is option C, the dynasts. The Dynast is the name of the epic drama that Hardy wrote about the war with Napoleon. The Dynast is an English language closet drama in verse by Thomas Hardy. Hardy himself described this work as an epic drama of the war with Napoleon in three parts, 19 acts and 130 scenes. The Dynasts was published in three parts in 1904, 1906 and 1908. Hardy regarded this work as his magnum opus. Question number 8. What profession did Thomas Hardy pursue after abandoning his career as a novelist? Option A. Fisherman. Option B. Poet. Option C. Priest. And Option D. Lawyer. So it is option B. Poet. Hardy's first volume of poetry, that is Vexes Poems, was published in 1900, sorry, 1898. It is a collection of 51 poems set against the Dorset landscape. When Thomas Hardy died in January of 1928, his heart was buried in Stinford with his first wife Emma on January 16, 1928. Where were his ashes buried? Option A. Poets Corner, Westminster Abbey, Option B. Dorset, Option C. Stinsford, Option D. With his second wife Florence. So here correct answer is Option A. That is Poets Corner, Westminster Abbey. Hardy became ill with pleurisy in December 1927 and died at Maxgate just after 9 p.m. on 11th January 1928, having dictated his final poem to his wife on his deathbed. Cause of death was cited on his death certificate as cardiac syncope with old age given as contributory factor. His funeral was on 16th January at Westminster Abbey. Question number 10. Which of Hardy's novel received so much negative criticism that it caused him to give up writing novels altogether? Option A. Jude the Obscure. Option B. Return of the Native. Option C. Tess of the Arborvilles. Option D. The Mayor of Casterbridge. So here, option A is correct. That is Jude the Obscure. This is the novel which received so much criticism, negative criticism, that it caused him to give up writing novels altogether. 
let's see the highlighters jude an obscure is a novel by thomas hardy which began as a magazine magazine serial in december 1894 and was first published in book form in 1895 it is hardy's last completed novel its protagonist jude Foley is a working class young man a stone mansion who dreams of becoming a scholar called jude and obscure by at least one reviewer jude and obscure received a harsh harsh reception from some scandalized critics among the critics was walsham how bishop of wakefield wakefield hardy later claimed that the bishop had burnt a copy it has been suggested that negative criticism was the reason that hardy stopped writing novels after jude but poet c h sisson describes this hypothesis as superficial and absurd question number 11 what profession was thomas hardy training for before the, he became an author option a stone mason option b clergy option c architect and option d a farmer here option c is correct that is architect he was being trained for architect but he became a novelist and then a poet let's see the highlighters He was enrolled as a student of architecture at King's College in London while on one of his architectural projects he met and fell in love with his first wife Emma Lavinia Gifford. Question number 12 What is the title of Thomas Hardy's second published novel? Option A Far from the Madding Crowd Option B under the greenwood tree option C desperate remedies and option D the poor man and the lady so here option B is correct that is under the greenwood tree let's see the highlighters under the greenwood tree a rural painting of dutch school is a novel by english writer thomas hardy published anonymously in 1872 It was Hardy's second published novel and the first of what was to become his series of vexes novels. Question number 13 Name the novel by Thomas Hardy. Option A To please his wife. Option B Moments of vision. Option C The dynasts and option D The return of the native. Here Option D is correct that is the return of the native is a novel by Thomas Hardy The return of the native is Thomas Hardy's sixth published novel it first appeared in the magazine Belgravia a publication known for its sensationalism and was presented in 12 months installment from January to December in the year 1878. Question number 14. Hardy died on January 11th, 1928. How old was he then? Option A 83, option B 87, option C 85 and option D 89. So here option B is correct that when he died it was he was 87 years old. Thomas Hardy was an English novelist and poet. He was born on 2nd June 1840 in Stinsford, Dorset, England. He died on 11th January 1928 at the age of 87 at Dorchester, Dorset, England. Question number 15. He was what by training? Option A, lawyer, cartographer, a surgeon or architecture. so he was by training a an architect hardy trained as an architect in dorset before moving to london in 1862 
There he enrolled as a student at King's College London. He won prizes from the Royal Institute of British Architects and the Architectural Association. He joined Arthur Bloomfield's practice as assistant architect in April 1862 and worked with Bloomfield on All Saints Parish Church in Windsor, Berkshire in 1862 to 1864. Question number 16. In 1874, Hardy married for the first time. Who was his first wife? Option A. Gracie Melbury. Option B. Bathsheba Eviden. Option C. Emma Gifford. And Option D. Ostasia Yee. Here, option C is correct. That is, Emma Gifford was the one who, whom Hardy had married. Hardy met and fell in love with Emma Gifford, whom he married in Kensington in late 1874. Question number 17. In 1914, Hardy remarried. What was the name of his second wife? Option A. Florence Dugdale Option B. Polly Walker Option C. Claire Skinner and Option D. Pauline Peters So here, option A is correct. That is, Florence Dugdale is the correct answer. Emma's subsequent death in 1912 had a traumatic effect on him. And after her death, Hardy made a trip to Cornwall to revisit places linked with their courtship. His poems 1912 and 13 reflect upon her death. In 1914, Hardy married his secretary Florence Emily Dugdale, who was 39 years his junior. Hardy stopped writing novel after the publication of Jude and Obscure. When was it published? Option A, 1901. Option B, 1897. Option C, 1895. And option D, 1899. So here, option C is correct. That is 1895. Jude and Obscure is a novel by Thomas Hardy which began as magazine serial in December 1894 and it was first published in book form in 1895. It is Hardy's last completed novel. Question number 19. Hardy's assets are interred in Westminster Abbey. Where does he, his heart lie? Option A. The Hardy Hardy Memorial in Oxford. Option B in Westminster Abbey with his wife uh, with his asses. Option C Stinsford Cemetery. Option D Dorchester Cemetery. Here option C is correct. That is Stinsford Cemetery. Here we find heart of his first wife and his own. His heart lies in his first wife's grave in Stinsford Cemetery. Question number 20. A statue of Hardy stands in Dorchester. Where is that? Option A. In front of the city hall. Option B. Casterbridge Place. In front of Wolfton House, option D, Top O Town. So his statue stands in stands at Top O Town in Dorchester High Street. Let's see the highlighters. The statue was unveiled in 1931 by Hardy's friend Sir James Berry at the place where it stands on this day. Top O Town at the top of Dorchester High Street. 
Dear friends, we have completed MCQs, important MCQs on Thomas Hardy. And uh, you, your task starts now to revise all the MCQs one by one because human nature is very forgetful. So we need to keep ourselves acquainted with the things that we require. Therefore, we need to revise everything every day. Alright, so by this I take your leave. We will meet in our next video. Till then, take care and happy studying.